What's up guys and welcome back to Tackling the World. Today I am in Sayulipa and I'm heading over to San Panchos. So since Jocelyn's in Mexico and I'm here in Okinawa, I figured uh, it would be interesting to compare prices of the restaurants and food uh, in the current time and see what compares. I mean, what, just in the beginning of the video, what do you guys think? Do you think Mexico is cheaper or do you think Japan is cheaper? Leave it in the comments what you think. And to be honest, I kind of think Japan might be cheaper. Kind of depends on the location, but I think this area is more expensive than Japan. But we'll see, we're gonna keep track of everything. And we already had a little birria snack. And I think that was about 25 pesos a taco, which is probably the cheapest taco I found here. We're just gonna have a little snack because we're at the beach and uh, most places you just eat and you don't have to pay for the seats up there. But over here we found that they charge for the seats. So we're just saving money by eating here. We could just walk to the beach. And have a little snack. I think we'll have the agua chile de camarón. And we're both going to, two of us are going to have a mezcalita. So the mezcalita is 190, which is about $1150, which is pretty good. because This thing is super strong. Tastes very much like mezcal. So you're getting your money's worth. Pretty big cup too. Plus you have a view of the beach. You're basically on the beach. This is all sand. So $11, pretty good. Not sure if Japan can beat that. $11 cocktail on the beach. Here's our little snack, the awa chile, which is 270 for this yummy snack. Lots of tostadas, ready to go. This one looks good, a lot of onion. Mm. It is really good though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this one better than the other spot. Does need more chile though. Uh, and add a little spice. Mmm. This is yummy. Better, huh? Mm hmm. Got a little pan de elote, about 60 pesos, which is 360 American. Um, it's hard sitting on the beach and not buying from all the vendors that pass by. Everything looks really good. So, Mexican cornbread is probably the best cornbread. It's much sweeter and more of like a dessert than American cornbread. And my mom would always make this for us and hers, honestly, it's the best cornbread that I've had. When I first had American cornbread, I was so confused because it's so dry and bland in comparison. Um, I'll try to get her recipe and I'll post it down below because you guys should make it. It's similar, but different <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. It tastes more like a, like a pastry corn cake, I guess. It has like cinnamon and there's like bits of actual corn because she uses fresh corn as a thing. Um, so you can actually kind of bite them. So the better corn quality that you use, the better the flavor. But yeah, this is yum. I don't know if Taku wants to include activities, but we just did a massage for two people for 30 minutes and it was 850 pesos, including tip, which is about $50, I think. Let me double check. $51.29, so just in case Taku wants to compare activities as well. I think maybe the massage is cheaper than what you can get in Japan. Plus it's on the beach. All right, so we've got the check right now and it is 650 pesos, which is about 40.62, which is about right. Google says 39.10 plus tip will be 715, which is $44.69 for the two drinks and the one awachi, our little snack. Now we're having kind of a really late lunch, early dinner. It's like 3.30 p.m. So we're gonna have some tacos. One of them is gonna be tacos de Jamaica and one is tacos de Huitlacoche. And the place we're at is called Limbo. And they have some pretty interesting things on the menu. Kind of interested in these bao buns. Definitely wanna try a lot of stuff. And they're making some fresh tortillas right next to us. They look delicious. That's what's gonna be our tacos, so. Excited to try that. Ooh, wow. With la cocha and salsa poblana. Jamaica and mole. Ooh. And the fresh tortillas. Horchata. These tortillas are nice and hot. Mm. 
That looks real good. I've never had tacos de Jamaica. Oh, that's good. Wow. Mm-hmm. I keep wanting, I keep wanting to try these. I just, I'm gonna have to make these at home. These are so good. These tortillas are hot. Stay nice and hot in there. Yeah. Mm. This is even better. Mm -hmm. Wow. The salsa poblano. Pica? Mm -mm, no pica. But so good. Wow. And then the quality of the huitlacoche is really strong. Oh man, I would eat another plate of these. This might be the best huitlacoche de Chapal. That's good. $7.50 for the two dishes and three drinks. And the dishes made enough uh, three tacos per person. So it's a pretty normal sized meal. $7.50 is $45.26 in American. So one of the dishes is about 330 pesos, which is about $19 a dish. That's a pretty expensive dish of food. So it's very much American prices down here and more like Bay Area kind of prices. So I think Japan might win. <laughs> I went to work out so my hair is a little crazy and I'm a little sweaty, but I forgot to mention earlier, we saw someone selling tamales de mole. And so dinner is only a hundred pesos for three people. So this was a good steal. We were almost gonna go do uh, chiles rellenos, which those in the restaurant would have probably been more like 150, 200. So we definitely saved money. So pretty. Mm. They're pretty decent. The ones in Oaxaca, Mom, mm -hmm. they're so soft. So soft. And so moist. Mm-hmm. The mole like oozes. Yeah, these are good, but the ones in Oaxaca are, of course, it's a source. So they're better, but... Mm. Hits the spot because these are hard to find in the U.S. All right, guys, so I managed to get myself a haircut and now I just picked up uh, my dad and sister from the airport and we're gonna have some Okinawa soba. The haircut was about 25, 2600 yen, which is like $20 or maybe even less than that. Um, it's pretty cheap for a haircut and he like really took his time and uh, he gave me a shampoo, he shampooed my hair, he conditioned my hair, gave me a, like a head massage and he gave me a shoulder rub too. So like 20 bucks, man, that's really, real cheap. Here we go, this is Okinawa Soba. And I uh, highly recommended. My friend has also recommended it to me. So let's try it. And here's Mitsuki. Hello. Hello everybody. And my dad. <laughs> okay, let's put a little uh, ginger in there. I like it, Looks delicious. We saw it at. Mmm. Mmm. Mango is here. Mmm. The noodles have a nice texture. Mmm. Really good. Done with my noodles. Pro tip take your rice, dunk it in here. Put it all in there. There you go. Yeah. For myself, it was a thousand yen with the noodles and rice. 
um, which is what, $7.50. Uh, and for all three of us, that was about, uh, they didn't get rice and then Mitzi got a smaller bowl, so a little cheaper. Um, the total was uh, 24 or 20, yeah, 2,400 yen. 2,400 yen, which is $20 or less than $20 something right around there but we're off to a pretty cheap start here in Japan especially with the currency exchange at the moment hey guys so earlier we went to uh, do a little snorkeling in the morning and then it started pouring rain so we just headed home and it's been thundering like crazy all day long and now uh, we've come to this like little izakaya uh, to have some yakitori I want some yakitori so um, so we came here. Let's see, we ordered a decent amount of food so far. We can add on later as well. So far it's 5,890 yen. Check this out, this is the first thing I got. This is tuna with natto and uh, mountain yam, yamaimo. And uh, it's very uh, slimy textured combination of things. <laughs> Mm. 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 Oh. That's good. Uh, it's really good. It's like nice and cold, uh, refreshing. It's very slimy, which is a texture that really like I don't know why Japanese people like that so much. But um, yeah, it's I know it's like a lot of a lot of uh, Westerners can't get over that kind of texture, uh, but it's a uh, we like it. We love it. <laughs> part of our culture um, and yeah Mitsuki loves it too she's taking the bowl back and she's eating it she, I think she's gonna finish it <laughs> and we got some karage which is uh, Japanese fried chicken and we got some agedashi tofu this is really nice Jocelyn and I love that We got one with tare, and we got one just seasoned with salt. Two different flavors. Oh, nice. She said it's nice and kind of cr crunchy. I think that might be like the chicken heart. This right here is the skin. It's one of the best parts. Mm. It's crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Okay guys, well we're back at our Airbnb and uh, dinner was about 7,700 7, yen uh, which is roughly $50 and uh, it was pretty good um, and got uh, plenty of dishes and Mitsuki ordered even more towards the end because she wanted to uh, finish things off with something nice <laughs> and uh, my dad even got a couple of uh, he got a beer and another alcoholic drink uh, I didn't drink any alcoholic drinks because I was driving in Japan there's like a zero uh, tolerance policy you're not allowed to drink anything and drive so uh, I'll do a little bit drinking right now since we're home but uh, uh, yeah it's pretty still reasonably priced man $50 for three of us and uh, yeah, we got plenty of dishes and I'm pretty stuffed. So pretty good, pretty good. And tomorrow we'll see what we do. We might do a little fishing in the morning and uh, for lunch, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out, I guess. Oh, we're planning to go get some curry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we just had a nice morning at the aquarium. I'm racing Mitsuki. So I'm ask <laughs> Beautiful over here. A lot of GTs in the aquarium. Oh, we're gonna go eat some lunch now. Okay, we're at this place called Koko Ichibar uh, Curry House. And they got a bunch of curries on here. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, here's my curry. Nothing fancy, just this is like, like Japanese fast food here. And um, got these pickled radish. You put on top. 
It's really good. Ooh, and my dad got the cuts curry. Yeah. Here we go. It's nice. It's really good. I got spice level three. I think it's like three out of four, four or five, but I think it's a perfect spice level. Mm. Okay, guys, we are now both back in the U.S., reunited mm -hmm. once again. Uh, I had a great trip. How was your trip? It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. had a good time with your family? Yeah. Yeah, I did too. Well, let's uh, break it down. So for breakfast, we just had a taco each because it was something really heavy, via taco, and that was a total of four fifty, And the cornbread was three sixty USD, always prices, not pesos. Tawachina that we had was $44.69, and then at the restaurant Limbo was $45.26. And then the tamales were $6, which we got really lucky that we even spotted that cart because our original plan was to go to this other restaurant, which when we did end up going there, totaled $45 at the very end. So, the price of that day was $104.05. $104.05. Yeah. And if we That's had not gone, too bad. Yeah, and if we had yeah. gone to the other restaurant, it would have been $149. $149. So. But for three people, that's still not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's definitely good. cheaper, you know, than in the U.S. You could go to one dinner for three people and yeah, get pay $100. Yeah, though so. at Limbo, we did have one dish that was $17 or $18 mm -hmm. American. Yeah. So that's pretty pricey for one dish mm -hmm. for Mexico. It yeah. was really good, though. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 would eat there again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right, and so for... Taku's meals, his first meal for three was $15.66. That's pretty cheap. So uh, none of his were breakfast items because they just ate at the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. So I'm including two lunches. Two, two lunches, yeah. Two lunches and a dinner. Yeah, which you would think would be expensive, but $15.66 is pretty cheap. It's cheap. Yeah. And then dinner for three people was 50 bucks. Uh, the other meal was $15.46 for a grand total of $81.12. So. Cheap. I'm just going to say this right now. Japan is cheap. So cheap. And uh, for whatever reason, the prices have not changed since 10 years ago, since 20 years ago. I was talking to my dad about this. He said maybe it's gone up like 20 yen which is like 20 cents, <laughs> 15 cents is nothing. Yeah. That's nothing to what the rest of the world has been experiencing with inflation. And now, like, Japan's just not experienced an inflation. They don't have that. Yeah. They don't believe in it, I guess. And <laughs> they you guys just, don't have tip. And there's no tip in Japan either, so it's, nice. you just pay, pay that, that's it. And uh, currently, with the currency exchange, it's such a bonus you know, discount for people with, you know, oh, USD yeah, or sure. wh whatever. Uh, so right now is a, an amazing time to visit Japan. Yeah. Some parts of Mexico are pretty expensive and Sayulita especially doesn't have such a big street food scene. So you can definitely save money if you go to like street food stalls in Mexico. But yeah, Sayulita is not the best for that, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's a very Americanized town. So I think Sayulita, Cancun, and Cabo are probably going to be the most expensive areas. And mm -hmm. Like even a mango in Mexico was about the same price as the U.S. Same thing with coconuts. Actually, I think I can get a cheaper coconut at Whole Foods. Um, someone was selling them $4 a coconut. Dang. Yeah. And after we ate so many coconuts for free in Samoa and Niue... Hard to bring yourself <laughs> to pay that much. <laughs> That's going to be everything for this video, guys. We'll see you on the next one.